Peach family, thanks for joining me once again. Welcome back if you've been here before. Welcome if you haven't. It's Jay the Trap Therapist in the building, okay? This is going to be Sagittarius's, Sagittarius's um, ancestor messages. So we just want to get started. Thank you for allowing me to connect. And channel the energies in, within, and around you. All right? Gods, helping to get out. Bring forth the energies. We are burning a cherry vanilla, a cherry rose, a rose. I gotta look again, but it smells amazing. Okay, I think it's like cherry vanilla, some some something like that. Okay, something along the lines, cherry and vanilla. Smells very, very magical. Spirit guys. Is it me? Yes. <laughs> um, messages for the collective of Sagittarius. Keep in mind that this is a, a general reading. If you would like a personal, make sure to look into the description box below for that information. I'm getting a lot of secrets, a lot of secret, a lot of secrets, a lot of things are kept in secret, um, secret messages, secret conversations. Secret discussions. <clears throat> are you supposed to be, are you supposed to be conversing with this person? Or this is just something on the down low, on the deal, on this, the low key side. Some of y'all are very, um, I y'all are confused. I don't know if something is, um, the word was bewildered. Something doesn't make sense. Something could be spiraling out, spiraling, spiraling out of control. Like one thing after another. It's like one secret piles up, or one thing it turns into the next, and then it just it gets to become too much. Why not just tell the truth? Why not just say how it is, speak it how it is. Clear the room, clear the air for everyone. Cause see, at first it's a lot of chaos, a lot of disruption, okay? A lot of confusion and then once the secret's out, once the cat's out of the bag, things will start to make more sense. It'll start to be more peaceful. It'll start to What's the blockage though? What's standing in the way of this peace? What's standing in the way of the chaos? There's too much control here. You can't control the outcome of this situation, Sagittarius. Situation is gonna happen. It's gonna unfold the way it's gonna unfold, whether you like it or not. You might not get the, the desired outcome that you were looking for, but it's, it's supposed to happen. It's inevitable. I know you hear that a lot probably, but something about traveling, steering clear of certain situations. Are you trying to run away? Are you running away from the issue? Running away from the problems? I hope this doesn't disturb the reading. <clears throat> 
running away from the issue, running away from the problem. That's what you're doing. You're trying to avoid it. You don't want to look something in the face, look something in the eye. Once and for all, for good, for like all of humanity, all like the this is like the the the, the world is literally depending on you to do this. For everyone in your world, everyone who's in your circle, they are depending on you to do this. Friends, ones you can depend on. Friends, ones you can rely on. Friends. Nobody, nobody, this is like one true person, or this is a who, 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 who could do it like you, nobody, who could face this obstacle like you, nobody. Like, you were that one true person, that one true friend that everyone can always count on, always can rely on for everything and anything. You're down for anything. But who's there for you when you need it? Nobody. Relax, be still, and just wait. Y'all are being forced to heal. Y'all are being forced to heal, excuse me. Y'all are being forced to look certain shit in the eyes. Because you couldn't do it on your own, so spirit had to sit you down. And if you were doing it on your own, there were things that you needed to see more clear. So they had to kind of push you into this corner, this spiritual corner, so to speak, so to speak that you could get the message. Kind of like a prophecy. You've seen something beforehand or something was shown to you that you needed to know. It could have been a secret that was done behind your back, a betrayal that was done behind your back. Mm. You smelt it. Your, your nose wide open. forced to, to be with your demons or to sit with your demons. Mm, a snake. <clears throat> Sneak in the grass. Hmm. Something to do with somebody in your friend circle. Something uh, <clears throat> it 
it may be time, it may be time for a change of scenery. Eric, there is. Oh yeah, that feels good. It'll allow the balance of the energies, the equilibrium that you've been looking for. A change of, it might be the change of pace that you was looking for. To breathe. To feel a sense of relief. Y'all been having chest pains or back pains. Achiness. Stomach pains, migraines. Something about y'all earlobes. Or your ears. A heaviness, <clears throat> a heaviness on your chest. That's just due to unresolved traumas. Yeah, see, because right now y'all are supposed to be going through a spiritual awakening. And it may be delayed. It may be delayed due to... Because I think it's, it's like now that it's not appearing outward anymore is going more inward into your body catching up to you <coughs> so i feel like eventually you guys are going to go through your spiritual awakening um if you have already you're you're catching residual residual energy from what you just released if you haven't been through it yet when you do go through it it's going to show up more into your body rather than outwardly People don't think ascension symptoms, symptoms are real. They are real. Those pains that you are experiencing, they are real. It's casting a vibe over me. <laughs> Literally. Sweltered. This is giving me swelling. Sweltered. Sounds kind of big. Big and squishy. Like a heart. Like surgery. Like someone performing surgery and taking out body parts. I feel like somebody that is more of a, an exciting thing. So I'm, okay, wow. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, um, just information that somebody basically, someone found a donor. Someone found the, the, the match. Um, this is physically, like literally, also spiritually. You found your match. They found a donor. I'm gonna take it for what it is. Don't take it if it's not yours. But if you so if you know someone who's undergoing surgery or someone is going under, someone is undergoing surgery, and they found the 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 donor that will match um, like the blood type and everything. Some of y'all are nervous. It's gonna be okay. I can feel you're calm, but you jitter. You're you're really you shake a lot. You drink too much coffee. Yeah. Yeah, that coffee, that caffeine is making your nerves bad. Drowning. Mm. You're drowning. Okay, because I remember my grandma used to have jitters. After you're having withdrawals, okay, so you might have just stopped. You might have just stopped drinking coffee or drinking, 
and because one of the, the withdrawal symptoms or effects is jittery jitteriness in your whole body but it's definitely noticeable in your hands um, the withdrawals are catching up to your body or that the at the lat you know I'm, that's, what, that's what I was talking about before the residual energies as well um, Everything is being released. It's all making, it's all a connection, you know? Excuse me. That's, um, a brain tumor. Okay, they found a, a match for that. Someone was in a coma uh, for six years. That's a long ass time. Six years or six to 12 months. Something is really loud, like, I'm trying to listen, I'm, tr I'm trying to tune in. White, Psst. white hair, white lady. Somebody saying, oh, for goodness sakes. I think they're trying to figure out what to do next. Or what do, where do they go? This is people, like, this is a family trying to get all their options together for the patient like next steps on whether or not they get this procedure done now that they found this match i don't know why i'm so why they have me fo so focused on this patient i think i guess this is this person this is the person's legal guardian so they have the consent here but it's between the legal guardian and the grandma Maybe that's one of the secrets. Mm -hmm. Like y'all are at one of the most, like top tier, top notch hospitals. They're in like the, the best care that they can get. They're going to receive like the best medical you will. This is where you receive the best medical advice from. Jeopardins. Jerkins is a lotion. Oh, surgeons. Okay. Top notch surgeons. And. People say we don't do legal advice or medical advice, but if it, it still comes up, we say that we say we don't we don't solicit medical or legal advice, but they still give us legal and medical information, which is why y'all think that we do.
When the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. <laughs> let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's been that long. It's been that person. It's been that long since you haven't seen this person or have contact with this person. This is the time that you need your family. You need all the courage. Okay, you need the courage. You need this is the time you need all the encouragement, support from the people closest to you. Because I'm something about an, an advisory. Um. I mean, we in the summer right now, but it's more something. It could be a weather advisory. De de definitely depending on where you stay at, where you live, because I forgot I'm in the States, so there's people all over the world. <laughs> Maybe you're wanting to stay indoors. Stay indoors while like other people have it. You just like, yeah, everyone else can deal with that. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm just gonna stay in the house. I don't know, something about the weather conditions. I don't think someone has to stay indoors because of the weather conditions. The weather conditions are not, um, how do you say, um, conducive. Conducive to this person's body. We are really still, so I'm guessing the sun, something to do with the sun as well. If it's not snow. They want me to go back to this confusing energy. <sighs> Someone's about to do a fire ex experiment. I'm going to go ahead and charge my phone. So I'm going to, if y'all are going to be, um, Okay. See, some of y'all done picked up them old habits. Sorcerers. Some of y'all can be practicing magic. There was a thing. It's Jamara, and you're watching Disney Channel. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of um uh um so y'all are going some nostalgia, right? That was the funniest shit I ever did. <laughs> um I'm goofy as shit. Um write your name across the sky. Write your name across the sky. Write your name. Some of y'all are thinking about the old days. Some of y'all are reminiscing because "Write Your Name" in the "Write Your Name" by G Herbo is a song dedicated to the to the fallen soldiers who are no longer with us, but he still remembers them. So he tries to, you know, um, salute them, remember them, and you know, give give them. Their thanks and their gratitude, and you know what I'm saying. With the ending with that Disney Channel thing, I think y'all are really could be thinking about a lot of those people. For all my for all my follow ones who are no longer here, all your partner your partners who are not here no more, I think you're really. The pain you could be and have 
the pain you had endured in the winter time, okay, it's coming up in the summertime, so you can release it and let it go. Cause this is this is the time we are in a new season, a new quarter of life has just. I I want to cry. I feel like y'all are crying. Because it's been really hard, Sag. You've been through a lot. A lot of things that people don't even know that you went through. A lot of things you had to endure. And now, you you hadn't dealt with it. You You... You put it behind, you thought it was behind you. You didn't see it, so you just, you know what I'm saying? You kept going with a smile on your face. But you, you had this burden on your back. You had this nagging, agonizing pain that followed you everywhere. It's been with you for a long time. You tried to smoke it away, fuck it away, drink it away. Nothing has been working. They were all temporary fixes for the problem at hand that's now coming up, especially since we are in Mercury retrograde, right? It's all coming up for you. And you're realizing how much has actually changed in your life. Who's actually there in your life that actually supports you and carries you and encourages you. You may not feel like you have anybody. But you always got God, the universe, mother. Whoever you, whoever that resonates with. See, some of y'all have been definitely picking up bad habits. Because y'all playing smoke. Y'all playing, y'all playing, y'all blowing O's and shit. Yeah. I feel like this is this is the one coping mechanism that you always resort back to. Cuz it's easiest to access. You can you can always get your hands on it. Some people have caused deliberate pain to you. Deliberately. They knew what they were doing. And that's the most fucked up part. Because at times that you've hurt people you didn't know. You was just doing what you thought was best. But... Some people were deliberately trying to hurt you because they... They knew, they knew your, your weak, they knew your weaknesses. They knew your breaking points. They knew exactly what would get to you. Wish them a farewell. They thought you was a sucker. They thought you was just blowing smoke with what you said that you were going to get done. You don't play games, though. You don't play games for long. Because when you have something you want to do, you're going to do it. You spend a lot of time in places where you shouldn't have been, where you didn't have to be at. But because of the love that you've shown for these people, you stayed. And at the cost of what? Your pride, your dignity, your confidence, your self-esteem. But you know better now. That's why you're in a new season. And that's why you're crying because you're releasing, you're purging your old self. So this new energy can come along. And spirit can bless you with the life that you deserve. 
Nothing you did was in vain. Everything had to happen for a reason. So you could understand your gifts and your abilities and the strength that you have. Blessings on blessings on blessings are coming in. Yeah, you've been working uh, behind the scenes. God spirit is God spirit is working behind the scenes for you. And you see you're 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 kind of stuck right now because you're you're in the space of transition where the past is in front of you. You know it's there, but you're still dealing from things in the past. So you're numb. Maybe emotionless. Emotionless. Once you get done crying, once you get done purging, releasing any way that you, you, you know, that you do, any way you know, you experience, however the way you experience the release, Sit in it, be still, listen to the, the, the messages. You know what to do now. Move forward. It's time to get back. Or it's time to go back. Where is Sagittarius going? Back to the future. See, Sagittarius... Y'all on some shit, because what? Y'all was in the future. Y'all was in the past. Okay, so it's like... You seen yourself somewhere. You had to go back to the past because your present vessel was stuck in the past. So you had to bring your past to the present to get aligned with your future. Let me make sure I got that right. You were in the future. Okay? But your present body had got stuck in the past. So your present self had to go get yourself from the past and bring it to the present so you can get back on track with your future. Three, 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 three. Y'all's on that, that, that futuristic shit, Sagittarius, okay? Because what the fuck? <laughs> y'all had got lost, y'all. Yo, your future self had to go find you because you was stuck in a timeline that didn't have shit to do with that future self of yours. So it had to go find you and it really had to go, y'all was on some time travel shit and didn't even know it. <laughs> that shit funny, that shit crazy. That shit is crazy. But that's how, that's how, that's how good you are, Sagittarius. That's how fucking guided you are. Like, not just protected, but like literally, they are not. That's how good y'all ancestors got y'all. Because of the shit you've done for other people, they are not going to see you off track. Yeah, they'll say, yeah, you know, Sag. They're doing their thing. But when they see that you get stuck, oh, no. When they see that you're, like, not paying attention, you're doing, you're doing, you're, okay, they be like, okay, Sag, Sag still ain't getting this shit. We, we got to go get their ass, okay? They will take you out and bring you back in a heartbeat. Okay, some of y'all really was in a life or death situation. Y'all caught, so, okay, some of y'all could have been in a whole damn coma in y'all present body and didn't even know it. I feel there is such thing as a spiritual coma. Okay. Hey. I feel like I'm smoking. I feel like I'm, I'm literally, y'all are literally not even smoking. Y'all are literally just sitting here getting knowledge from spirit, like, this is, I'm not, I'm just channeling, channeling energy. Y'all are just channeling energies 
Like, this is really how it feels when you are just vibing with God, vibing with the, your creator, and it feels like you high as fuck. <laughs> for real. For real. You know, everyone has different methods of channeling, but this, this shit fire. I feel like you found your shit. You found your niche. You found your, your space. You found your center. That's what it is, Sagittarius. You found your center, and now you back. You back. I'm back, and I'm better. Y'all ugly as hell. <laughs> I'm back, and I'm better. That's what he said, right? Y'all was lost in the sauce, but now you good. You good now. Wave them in the air. Wave your hands in the air. I'm young as shit, okay? Wave them like you just don't care. Throw your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Yeah. Live your life, man. Live your fucking life. I said that to, uh... What, to Libra? Man, live your fucking life, dog. Live your life for real. It's, life is too fucking short to be sad at some shit you can't even control no more. The past is in the past and the future is in the future. We ain't experienced it. The only thing we can experience is the now. And if you ain't even thinking about the now, what is there to enjoy? Blessed be the most high. Thank you for this reading. Ashe, the blunt has went out, so that will conclude this reading. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for allowing me to tune into your energy. Thank you for the support. I love y'all, for real. It's a privilege and an honor to connect with y'all on a daily to every other daily. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you would like. Ain't no pressure. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Peace.